Sally Corner Stories, Episode 6, More Nicknames from Belchman Hall. As you know, we the sheltering day and killing little time by baby dukes once the ash fall was coming down. Now that little salt fish and rice that baby dukes cook went down real sweet. I feel that the secret was when it was drying down, you know. And she put that little clover cream butter upon the top. And then she rest the okra upon that. And she let it steam down good. But lost I'm this sweet for truth. Well, all we, we got the full by now. But the volcano ash was thicker than it was before. So baby, don't tell we to stand. She said when I can't see to walk home in this darkness. And the man don't live in here. So nobody can tell one to left. She bring out some feed bags and she tell me lay down there upon the floor. Then baby Duke's turn and tell me that when we start calling out them nicknames, she had was to say that nicknames is a real serious thing for truth. Because we ain't realize how many people all about Dead and left things for people in the names that them didn't know them by. Only when the whole thing end up, the name wasn't the body na real name at all. You see, some nicknames does sound real natural. Like the men make up nothing. But when you hear a name like Sun Doggy or Sharky, you know I'm in a real name. Some names... We didn't know the origin of them names, but when Welch Mahal stick on a nickname pun you, you guarantee it on pun you for life. Names like Dodo and Jungle. But then you had the ones that sound like real names. Like, take for instance the choir master that they named Mr. Payne. And everybody didn't know he wife as Miss Payne. Well, look at this. Mr. Payne passed away, and everybody did in front of the radio when the morning come, waiting for the funeral announcement. Be crimple, when they hear the shout, Mr. Payne didn't even hear Mr. Payne. The man was a Collins, and that is true, true, true. Then, they had some other nicknames that they were nice for true. You had people like Edna and Etna. That wasn't them real name, but did they sound like real names for true, eh? Then back to nicknames that they sound like nicknames. We had sugar, turkey, people like Mighty Cox, Corny, Trunk, Bally, Chili, Pugs that they used to call Nugget, Dalma. Now Dalma did like the sauce, and whenever he had up all, it would be fast to tell you that he is a white man. Look at my hair, he would say. The rum used to turn down my red, red, red like a cherry. And the wicked little children would call it the pink slug. But as much as he did like he drinks, come Monday morning, Dama dressed neat with his shirt tucked in and off to work he gone. Then we had names like Charma. Doggy, Queen, Et a Fish, Farley Rat, Trot, Kenny Wood, Shungs, Patches, and Shilling too. You had people in Welsh Mahal that was known by the nickname, but not only for their nickname. There was a woman named Jane Jane, a pretty, pretty dark woman, who used to tie she head with a white cloth. And some of the best sweet bread you could ever taste used to come out of Jan Jan basket. Now, when Jan Jan lift off the cloth off of that basket, the whole of Welsh Mahal would be lined up for that bread. I wonder who got that recipe, don't they? Now, they had sugarling, sparrow. There was balls. Now, balls and ball happy. It's two different people, so don't get mixed up. When a nickname did belong to more than one person, 
you used to add the last name to it to make the difference. We had Shorties, but the high Shorty Allen and Shorty Lewis. You understand what I mean? They had some Joe's too. We had Joe Green, Joe Bandy, Joe Strait, Joe Gibbs, and Joe Ford. Now, one of the Joes had a wife from England, a quiet, modest white woman. One day we was in the bus stand, waiting for the bus to load. That time they had a snow cone man named James, and everybody calling out through the bus window to James to get a snow cone to beat the heat. Miss Jo joined the call with her sharp British accent. Here she. James, James, an orange one here, and put water in it. Snow cones coming all over Miss Jo's head, and James didn't even understand a word that she was saying anyway. Then after about the sixth call of James, James, Ballon get so vexed. He get up and push up on the bus window and he said, James, look up. Give she your orange snow cone and put water in them for, for she there. And the whole bus cackle out. Now, we had people with the nickname that ended in the word up. You had ease up, jump up, move up, and leg up. And then we had some that they sound similar to. You had Kali, you had Kali, and you had Kuli. Then there was TD and Ratty. We had Billy Corn, Biggs, Ninkum, Reds, Mumu, Merkin, and Tara Monkey too. And then we had one of the most feared men in Welsh Hall. Not feared because he would interfere with people, but feared because he didn't tolerate foolishness. That man was called Jack Innes. Nobody in the right mind wouldn't interfere with nobody that belonged to Jack Innes, or you would see Jack Innes coming with the boots and the bill in his hand. A good slap you would get with Jack Innes bill. He didn't used to play. Now we had two Katie's. Katie from the First Avenue, who was a man, and Katie from the Second, who was a woman. And then a little further down, we had Can. They had two cock robins. But one of the cock robins turned around and had a nickname for he nickname. So he used to go by CR. Then there was Dylan, there was Goons. Michael Dolly, and you had people like Tippy too. Now, one of the most famous nicknames that they had in Welsh Mahal that was revered across Barbados was a man named Michael Mad. When Michael Mad driving the bus at night, the fellas in Welsh Mahal waiting at the bus stop. No, they ain't going away, but they want to ride with Michael Mad. They get up on the bus, and before they could sit down good, the bus would be in bed playing. That is how fast Michael Mad did. Other drivers like Merkin, Bailey, Fella, Floyd, or Eskimo, them didn't want nothing with Michael Mad. Young people today don't know nothing about good nicknames. All them know about is Shabba. Yellow man, red man, tall man, short man. Nothing with like class, you know, like Jet and Fran, Octi, Bully, Piranha and Quack. Then Baby Dukes turn and say, Wanna feel that nickname is all. But what about them strong old names that used to let people know not to mess with a person? Nowadays, everything ending in, oh, uh, like Sharida, Lakeisha, Nakeisha, Chartresha. But the good old names from back in the day, have they gone the way of history? But that is another story for another day. Baby Duke Stern and tell me, Troy and Hush wanna moat in my house before the duppy hair wanna and come inside here.